Well, this is part three of our G4 PowerBook art project, and we've made lots of progress, although as you're looking at it, it doesn't look like we've done anything, but we actually, we have. So what we're doing is uh, everything pretty much is all together on this thing. It all functions. Uh, we also have a, a MSATA drive. An operating system that I chose for this was Sorbet Leopard. The reason why I chose Sorbet Leopard is it is the most modern operating system you can run on a G4 or a G5 machine. And that's the beauty of it. It has a lot of nice features built into it, especially on the internet. You can get on the internet. You can actually get on YouTube. You can't watch live streams, but you actually can watch videos. Now, they are basically at the slowest frame rate but this basically has some characteristics built into it from High Sierra. So it's got a lot of security features built into it. So that makes this a, a little bit nicer on the internet. But like I said, we have the MSATA in here. It works great. We have everything hooked up. We have the airport card. We have the card reader hooked up. The battery works relatively well in this. The CD Super drive works in it okay. The fans work in it just fine. And we're gonna replace the battery on this guy here so it'll remember the time and date and a few other settings. This backboard here, the charge board, that's all connected up. The audio is all connected up on it. Now the reason why it's wobbly like this is because it's not screwed down to anything. So that's what we're gonna be doing next. Now I was gonna use these little pieces that are off sprinkler systems i cut them down and as i started putting them on there said you know i i don't really like that i want to kind of keep it as transparent as i can so what i'm doing is i'm slowly getting all my acrylic parts in so we have some acrylic square rod and i will cut this down to length and i will show you the special saw that i use to cut plastic with and of course then we can polish it back up on in if we have to and this is already polished. It's got slightly rounded corners on it. But this is actually going to be over here. Uh, there will be some supports here. And then our, got a couple of them, our piano hinge. I have to cut these down a little bit, the piano hinge here. That will attach. Now these things here, these already have adhesive on it, which is kind of nice. And so basically it will uh, contact here. And then the other part will contact on the keyboard which I will get and it will go on this side here and then also there's something that's going to go on the inside of that 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 way it will not come off and I do have to cut the hinge down because this is a little less than 12 inches in this spot but that will give it its flexibility to hinge go down hinge it up and that'll be really nice so that's a good thing and then of course we have our special glue strictly just for acrylic. It's not your average super glue. It's specially formulated for acrylic. So the other stuff that I've got in the process is I've got a round rod that's ordered and it's very tiny. It's like five millimeter. And that's actually what I'm going to use for the supports. We're going to use the acrylic round rod and those will actually be glued to the acrylic back panel. And then the front will actually be secured with screws on the front. And I think that'll give us a nice clean look. This is going to be basically a, an inch off the ground, maybe a little bit higher. So that way we can get the battery in and out, no problem. But I'm going to have a lot of these wires actually ran underneath of it so you don't see it. Like the airport antennas here and the Bluetooth that will all be underneath of it because this will all be elevated those will be secure they'll be nice and then when i put the lighting on here actually the lighting is going to be underneath these as well and it will radiate out through it will be reflected up through the clear part of the acrylic because this is all going to be clear sides are going to be clear and polished but the back will be frosted uh, our mounting system that we're going to use we're going to have magnetic mounts they will go behind the acrylic and then the receiver magnetic mounts actually go on the wall. So when you put this thing on there, you can adjust it a little bit, but it's very secure. It's not gonna come off. The acrylic panel that we're gonna go with is gonna be a half inch thick. 
This is the finished size. It's going to be a little bit bigger than this, so it's going to be uh, 20 inches wide. This is 18 now. We're going to do 20. And then the, uh, the length of it is going to be 30 inches long. So that will give me a little more room to work with so I can do a few more things. But it's coming together quite nicely. Like I said, I'm just waiting for parts so I can start uh, mounting it up. And it's going to look pretty cool. Like I said, I've got pretty much all, everything all figured out with it. And this thing does run. I've actually had it running on a stream that I did not too long ago. And uh, it looks pretty good. I did have a little, little issue. I had like a little artifact on the screen there. And I unplugged the cable. I plugged it back in. And that artifact went away. So the video cable probably just wasn't making good connection. And that's over here, right there. I just have it unplugged right now because it's a very short connection. And I don't want to accidentally uh, damage it. But it'll be all nice and secured. It's going to look really fantastic when it's all done, operational. And like I said, this is going to be high enough where we could be able to get the battery in and out. And it'll lock up in there. And I just thought that'd be kind of a nice little thing to keep the battery in it. But it will have the barrel charger on it and it will be plugged in. That'll be the main power source it obviously and as far as the when this thing is hinged up I have to have some little posts made here and these things are going to drop down and they will actually touch the uh, acrylic and I'm going to have those made because there's a certain way that I want them and I want some things incorporated on them and the people that I'm going to have do it for me is PCB Way. And they offer a variety of services like PCB prototyping, PCB assembly, flex rigid flex PCB, CNC machining, 3D printing, offering you the best value, fast turnaround, one-on-one -on -one assistance, truly a one-stop solution for PCB and assembly. So go to PCBWay.com and see what they can do for you. So yeah, I'm going to have them make those little special panels I need made for this. I just have to get this a little further along so I can take some exacting measurements and drawing on them. But it's going to look pretty good. But yes, PCB way, I do use them. And you should too. So anyway, one other thing here. Let me put this off to the side here. Yes, I'm going to show you this special saw that I'm going to use to cut the plastic down. And this is what I'm going to be using to cut the plastic down. This has a, a circular bit on it. I used to use this when I did stained glass, but this is a handy little saw to have. Speeds it, it runs at a very high RPM. You can adjust it. You can do angle cuts, which is really nice. But the nice thing about this is you can change the blades on it. So I do have a plastic blade on this and that'll go down and work quite nicely on that. I need nice precision cuts when I do cut that round stock down and also that square stock. And even when I do that hinge, because I do need to do that hinge, and I have to have a precision saw to cut through that so I don't mess it up. But that's what I'm going to be using on that to uh, do some of the fabrication. Pretty cool. And you can see my messy bench here. It wouldn't be a garage if you didn't have a messy workbench, huh? So as soon as I get the rest of the parts, then we can finish this project and get it uh, where it needs to be. So we're just waiting on the acrylic back plate and some more acrylic round rod. And then we can start fabricating all the little posts and get it mounted up and then elevated up off the board. Same way with the screen, connect everything up. We'll run the wires underneath the screen and the computer as far as the antenna wires. And then our lighting we're going to put underneath here and underneath here. And that's one thing I'm not quite sure yet on what we're going to do on the lighting. But regardless, it'll be pretty neat however we do it. So anyway, I hope you really like this video. Please give me a thumbs up. The YouTube algorithm, uh, they really like that. When you like a video, then that means my video will get showed more. I also have a Patreon page. Go right to the links, and it's only a dollar a month to be a Patreon member, and you get all the cool perks. So whenever I put a video, it goes on Patreon first, then a day later it goes live on YouTube. Please subscribe and click that notification bell, 
That way you get all those important notifications. We're also on Twitter, we're on MeWe, and we're also on Rumble and Odyssey streaming platforms as well. So until next time, you guys have a great rest of your week, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.